What's up everybody? So what happens when you find yourself in this situation? Well, in today's episode, we're gonna find out. I bet you didn't know I was a blonde. Well, I'm just gonna hop straight into this video and get good and stuck here. I blocked out all the tools so you guys don't get distracted. I guess this video is more for the ladies or the chads with big beards that could get stuck in your device too. Or, or I guess just all the bends of the world. Eat your heart out, Ben. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll just hop up here and get good and stuck. I don't know what, exactly what the scenario is here. I'll be repelling on a, an eight, but I'm gonna have to use some type of gear. So I'm gonna grab a couple quick draws. So what am I, I'm a repelling, cleaning a sport route. I guess this could go for, I could use a couple different repel devices, like ATC or something, but I think there's gonna be some good techniques that I could squeeze into this video by using an eight, that if you've never used an eight before. So uh, we'll, just, we'll just hop right straight into this, huh? Okay, let's go. Okay, so what happens is your hair goes under this rope here, and then, because you're looking over this way, then it gets ah! <laughs> stuck. Now, the, th the worst part about this is you can't even look at it. Cause your hair is so stuck and the more you let go the more you lose grip the harder it pulls and it's really bad it's ripping off my weave anyway like a good little boy i had a third hand on here so it's actually not helping me right now so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to hold this as tight as we can and pass it under this beaner Oh crap. And now we have to lock off this eight. So I'm going to send it around here. And lock this eight off. So now the eight is locked off. Now potentially we could let go of this brake line because it's really good and locked. Okay. I would like to pass it around there one more time so it's really good and locked. Okay, so let's let's try to feed out some slack here. Oh my gosh, I'd be in some pain right now. We're going to have to take this third hand off. Keep our hand on the brake line. Find the third hand. This would be so desperate. One way to quickly lock it off is just to bring it around like this. However, as soon as you bring it up, you're losing friction and now decreased slippage and pulling on your hair. So I passed it through the beaner to get as much friction as I possibly could. Another way I could have done it is brought, just brought it, held it tight around here, brought it down and around like this. That would have also added more friction and then I could have brought it around twice. So that could have been another way I, I could have done it. A lot of ways to skin that cat. I would, I'd be screaming for scissors right now. Okay. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna clip this into a beaner. Where's the beaner? Right, clip this in a beaner. It'd be really hard to try to take your time when you're in this much pain. Okay. So, right, locked off. All right. Let's see if we can wrap it around. Let's unclip this. Yeah. Let's unclip this. Put that through there again. Let's block it off. Let's lock it off. Double lock it off. Oh, crap. All right. Now, now I, I want to be able to go hands free. Even though it's double locked off, I'm too scared. So, here I could tie too close to my hair. I got to tie some kind of backup knot. All right, I'm just going to tie. I'm going to tie figure eight. 
I'm gonna unclip this one more time. Tying a figure eight. Now, this is just how I would do this. It's not like I read this in a book or anything. All right, now I'm gonna clip this here. Now, the key is to get my weight off of this and onto this. How are we gonna do that and not look at it at the same time? Okay, well, I could take my third hand. Can I reach up here? Okay, I can reach here. Now, what I would have to do if I didn't have this beaner here is that I'd have to take this third hand tie a prusik up here way, as high as I could possibly reach, slide it up and clip into that. But since I have the beaner, I'm going to take my quick draws. Okay. I'll clip that. Take my other quick draw. Clip that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a garter hitch. I did a full video on a garter hitch in one episode. So if you want to know how to do a garter hitch, you're going to have to find that video. I can link it, I can link it down below. But I'll obviously show you how to do it right now. Clip both into this, into here, to both beaners. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to flip this like this. I'm going to clip this between here, between these two beaners. So it's, it's coming around and basically it just needs to get pinched by this other rope. So we're gonna stick that in there like that. Now, I could feel it, let's see if that feels right. Basically the whole line has to be able to sit down and pinch on this line. It's not, it, I didn't do it right. So, let's see, I gotta get it under here, like that, that feels right, let's see. Here's the garter hitch up close, I'm gonna put it through both like this, the weight's on this side, and then I'm gonna bring it around to the other, bring this around to the far carabiner. Clip it in like this. Now we can see what happens is the weighter rope is going to sit down on the haul line. So when it does that, it causes, it's almost like a knot and it holds down on it like that. That allows us to pull up and then cinch down, pull up and cinch down, acting as a progress capture. like that. The beaner could flip around, could sometimes flip around and do some weird things like this, but still we're getting that progress capturing. Can't tell if it's, yeah, I think it, yeah, that feels right. Okay, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna tie a clove hitch, stick that on my boot, clove hitch my boot, Stand up on that. And that's going to act as a progress capture onto here. Okay, that's working. All right. All right. Okay. Let's keep going. All right. All righty. Okay, I feel, feel a lot less tension on here now. Okay, good. Now, let's get as high as we can on that. All right, now I can kind of see it. What's going on here? Yeah, I think that's working. All right, now that we have that, we're going to have to block that off somehow. So 
I'm kind of thinking I want to do a Munter Mule on here, but um, maybe just a figure eight would be all right. So let's just do another figure eight. Now here's the problem. I got a big tangled nest of my hair stuck in this device that still has a little bit of tension on it and it's all locked, blocked off. So let's unlock it so we get our hair out of here. Now where is it? Okay. All right. Blocked it off twice. So it's once and then we're going to have to weave that out. Block it off and unblock it again. Okay. Okay. And then. Uh, yeah. Oh, ouch. Ouchies. Oh, that was terrible. I never want to do that again in my entire life. Oh, my weave. Oh. Oh, no. I can't be seen like this. Okay. So, uh. Yeah, now that my hair is unstuck, basically got to do all this back in reverse. Now this garter hitch acted kind of weird. I couldn't see it exactly. It felt like it was kind of, it was working, but it felt kind of weird. Sometimes the garter hitch could spin around and do something, other, do something weird. So practice with the garter hitch before you go and use it. Um, you can flip the beaners around. The beaners aren't the right size. Might not work well. I say that in my guard hitch video. So that's about it. We got out of, I was able to pull my hair out without pulling my hair out. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Join our Discord. We're at 1,400 members. I also started a TikTok for some reason. And, and uh, you were buying a t-shirt. Josh Perry climbing out of here. This is by no means the standard way of doing this. I just took whatever tools and skills I had in my head at the time and came up with this. Unscripted, unplanned, that's just the way it went. And uh, it seemed to work out for me and I got my hair out. Um, share this, ask other people what they think and maybe practice some scenarios yourself. If you have some long hair, maybe you're a dude with long hair, a chick with long hair, what are you gonna do if your hair gets stuck? Practice some scenarios, maybe put on a wig or something, I don't know, see what happens. Uh, I've, I've certainly never tried it till just now, so that's what I would end up doing. There's, there are more ways to skin a cat than this. I don't wanna ramble too long, but uh, we could have done a, Maybe a munter hitch up here instead of a garter hitch. Or maybe I could have even not even just forget the hitch and I could have just clipped in, tied a clove hitch around my foot, stand up on it, and maybe that'll give me enough, uh, enough uh, leeway just to do it. But then you gotta worry about falling back down. And so a, a garter hitch seemed the best tool to use in my mind. Um, yep. Okay, that's it. The end. Wah, climbing out of here.